dollars only, and I'm going to continue with the same today. Faster than the tune. Okay, I think I'm back now. Bottom of a bottle was always dry. I 
staple from the door straight. And I was gonna. Eddie Setzer wrote that. Probably don't know who Eddie Setzer is, but he wrote a lot of Nashville tunes, and uh, he wrote that one. This next one, actually, the next one is written by Eddie Setzer. Sorry about that. This is written by Eddie Setzer. Reading the wrong thing. I think I'm gonna cable this up just a tad. Look down into her brown eyes, said, Say a prayer for me. She threw her arms around him, whispered, God will keep us free. They could hear the riders coming. He said, This is my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, Simple. 
easier. Come on, baseball, catch up with me here. Yeah, not working there while I was trying on my phone to see what we can pull up. Well, this is interesting. I'm not seeing myself live, so I guess I'll keep playing and hope there's somebody out there. I'm not sure what happened. I had some people earlier. There we go. Okay. Toby? Gay? Okay. I'm on your profile, not on PRNG. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let me see if I can share it. I think I know how to do that. Um, let me see. Eh, I'll just keep playing and I'll share it back later. I was so befuddled today with everything that was going on. Thanks for finding me. This one's by Nancy Griffith. Called Love of the Five and Dime. It's too late to go back and try to reset, so I'll just keep playing where I am and share it later. <laughs> Rita was 16 years, hazel eyes and chestnut hair. She made the whole world count and shine. Eddie was a sweet romancer.
Thanks, Gay. Thanks for being with me. I guess I got lost in the process when I was trying to keep up with everything else going on today. This next song is um, written by Michael Peter Smith, covered by Steve Goodman and Liam Cansey and Clancy and a bunch of other folks. Um, it's called The Dutchman. The Dutchman's not the kind of man to keep his song jammed in the dance. That's a secret only Margaret knows. Amsterdam's golden in the morning. Margaret brings his breakfast. She believes in him. He thinks the tulips bloom beneath the snow. He's mad as he can be. Margaret only sees that sun. How do I 
I do this to myself? I don't know, I gave the wrong keys up here. There we go. Let's try this again.
Take it away and I will wait for the next time.